Hello students. So next we will see that how to create the charts on behalf of these reports that you created. We have created the current traffic, the previous traffic and we need the reports. For that you just create the new sheet and you just compare the entries of current month and the previous month. We are having users for example of current month 224 and for the previous month we are having the users 295. We are having the session, organic searches, bounce rate, whatever you are having. So let us insert the chart for these report results. You just click on insert and you are having the option here to insert the chart. When you want to click on it, you have entered the chart. It is showing you the blue bars are showing you the current month progress and the orange one telling you the previous month's report. It has created the users, the session, the organic searches and the bounce rate. So this is a way how you can also create or you can also compare your data of the report by including any chart or any bar or you can also use any pies according to you. So this is a very easiest way to compare the data that you include in your report from the Google Analytics that you find. You can also uh, have some of the formulas like if you want to know the, what is the traffic change of the current month to the previous month you just apply the formulas here that we have just uh, minus we have just subtracted the column of p2 from cell c2 so you have uh, given the traffic change of the current month by this you can also include any other charts you're having the added chart from here you can save that one and you can also include the pie charts yes you can also include the pie charts for it It shows you the series that is the current month. It shows you the series of previous month. You can edit it from here. You can remove it. You can add labels to it. It is your x axis that the time frame. It is showing the time frame to you. So these are the way how you can add it here charts as well. You can also change the chart type here. That is, you can use the pie. You can use the line graphs you can use the pipe graphs whatever you want to use you can also include in your spreadsheet like it is showing you as a pie result of the selected data so this is all about using charts according to your data that you have included thank you